Hello, welcome. Try this problem out, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. All right, so we got laws of logarithms to expand the expression below. So this is a pretty scary looking problem. And when I typed it out, I realized that this exponent up here, 3x, is not so clear if it's being applied to this root here or to e. So the typing is not the best, the spacing, excuse me, is not the best, so sorry about that. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply the laws as I go and talk you through it. So what I'm thinking first of all is, okay, I want to expand this out so I know exactly what's happening. This is the same thing as ln is the natural log of e to the power of 3x. Okay, And then I'm going to split these things apart times the square root of x squared plus 1 times what? 1 over x plus y, which I'm going to rewrite that last part as x plus y to the negative first. It's just a definition of exponents. x plus y to the negative first literally equals 1 divided by x plus y. I've done this because now what I can do is I can think about my laws of logarithms. I can think that, well, I know that this is a version of one of our laws, that the log base 10, let's say, or any base of a times b is equal to the log of a plus the log of b. So here, that just means, all right, I've got three things I'm multiplying. So instead of just a and b, I can think of this is a, this is b, and this is c, and just expand this law with these terms. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me just move this out of the way. I'll put it over, I'll, I'll leave right there, sorry. So what do we do? Well, this is going to be the natural log of e to the 3x, that'll be my first term, plus the natural log of x squared plus 1. I'll write it as x squared plus 1, but I'll put it to the 1 half power. That'll help us. The 1 half power is the square root, by definition, plus the natural log of x plus y to the negative first. All right, so I can clear this off. We use that law. All right. We can't split this any further, um, the x plus y. That doesn't apply to our law that we just showed you. That's when you have the product equals the sum of the natural log of x and y. That would be the natural log of x times y equals the natural log of x plus the natural log of y. You can't just distribute this natural log over x and y. It doesn't work like that. So the next law I'm going to use is where I bring the exponents down in front. So we have the natural 3x times the natural log of e plus 1 half times the natural log of x squared plus 1 minus, because negative 1 comes down, the natural log of x plus y. And at this point, I'm basically done. The law I applied right here is often referred to, I, I refer to as the clog law. It basically says, you know, let me just show you what it says. It says that if you have the log, let's say, base a of a to the c, that is equal to c times the log base a of a. So in other words, this little exponent can be multiplied in the front there. And that's all I was doing. At this step right here, I'm just going to rewrite it. So it says 3x plus 1 half times the natural log of x squared plus 1 minus the natural log of x plus y. And all I did right there was I said, OK, the natural log of e is just 1. And 3x times 1 is 3x. I know the natural log of e is 1 because this means natural log is base e. So e to the first power equals itself. Right? There's actually a little e down there. Uh, and you can, in fact, write it this way to maybe see it. Let me just erase that real quick. Uh, you could say the natural log, the log base e of e. That's what we're looking at. We see the natural log of e. e, base e to what power? 1 is e. The answer is 1. So if you ever see the natural log of e, it's just 1. And then we're done. All right, I hope that helped.